EWTN, sharing the splendor of truth. Hello, I'm Diane Bish. Welcome to this presentation of the joy of music on EWTN. Join us now as we take you to some of the most spectacular Catholic cathedrals, basilicas, monasteries, and other holy sites from around the world. We hope you enjoy this presentation. Welcome to the Joy of Music. My name is Diane Bish, and I would like to invite you to join us today as we bring you a program entitled Sights and Sounds of Poland with visits to two of Poland's most beautiful cities, Warsaw and Krakow. Today, our music comes from famous churches and monasteries of Warsaw and Krakow. Warsaw is an extraordinary city with amazing people. A place where historic buildings, palaces, architectural complexes, and churches, all destroyed during World War II, have been reconstructed with great care. From the royal route to the old towers, monuments to churches, the city reflects the faith and pride and determination of the people of Warsaw in rebuilding their city brick by brick.
It is a pleasure for me to welcome today here in Warsaw, Poland, Mr. David Parks, one of the outstanding young artists on the saxophone today. David Parks will join me in the St. Anna's Church of Warsaw. One of the great organs of Warsaw is found in the beautiful St. Anna's Church. The casework itself is one of the most ornate in Poland, with its life-size statues and gold ornamentation. Much of the organ dates from 1667, but has been enlarged and restored over the years.
Known as the poet of the piano, Frédéric Chopin was born near Warsaw, Poland in the year 1810. Chopin began composing and playing the piano at a young age and at 16 entered the Warsaw Conservatory where he studied composition. Chopin throughout his life was influenced by the folk music of Poland and the melodic style and great virtuosity such as found in Italian opera. Chopin died in Paris in 1849, but his music continues to this day to enrich the lives of the listener. The Wawel Castle is one of the most beautiful and impressive royal residences in Europe. For centuries, Polish kings lived here. They were crowned and buried here in the cathedral, which is a part of the complex. The cathedral also has been for nearly a thousand years the most important religious center of Poland, and in recent years was connected with Pope John Paul II, who was the bishop of Krakow. The Poles believe that in this place, the heart of Poland is beating.
Krakow's image has changed during the past centuries. In the Middle Ages, Krakow was a safe, rich, fortified city, surrounded by walls with 55 towers. During the Renaissance, Krakow became a center of new ideas and culture that attracted the most outstanding writers, architects, and musicians. City life was focused around the Market Square, the second largest in Europe after St. Mark's Square in Venice. My name is Diane Bish and I would like to thank you for joining us today on The Joy of Music as we have brought you Sights and Sounds of Poland with music from famous churches and monasteries of Krakow and Warsaw. Thank you for joining us and we look forward to seeing you again next week on The Joy of Music. If you would like to purchase today's program or any program from our library of over 400, please visit our website at dianebishtv.com 
or call 1-800-933-4844. The words and letters.